Well, there's a new police lieutenant in Bishop. Press release from the Bishop Police Department notes that the department recently held an open and competitive recruitment for the open position of police lieutenant. Applications were received from candidates statewide, and after a lengthy process, Sergeant Joshua Ellsworth with the Beaumont Police Department was selected for the Bishop Police Department lieutenant position. Lieutenant Ellsworth, a veteran of the United States Army Reserves, began his career with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office in 1996. And while there, Ellsworth worked patrol out of the Victorville area and as a motor officer in Yukaipa. He then spent seven years working for the Beaumont Police Department as a patrol officer before promoting through the ranks to a corporal and then sergeant the rake he held prior to accepting the lieutenant's position in Bishop. Lieutenant Ellsworth, his wife Stephanie, and their two young children have now relocated to the Bishop area, and we welcome the Ellsworths to the Eastern Sierra. Well, the Eastern Sierra Music Festival is having its spring barbecue and artist exhibition. Now that is set for Saturday, April 16th. And that'll be taking place at the Y Baron Ranch, seven miles south of Bishop, scheduled to start at 2 p.m. Sounds like a great event, and it will be showcasing live music from local talent set to appear at this summer's Eastern Sierra Music Festival. Now, those performing at the barbecue include uh, great local bands, Halfway to Benton, What If, the Harry Andreas Band, Secondhand Smoke, and Stephen Christie and the Pitchforks. Uh, the barbecue member will include a uh, excuse me, menu will include a choice of tri-tip, barbecued turkey, all the fixings. Ranch bean master Dwayne Rossi will contribute his specialty variety of salads, plus homemade cobbler rounds out the meal. And in addition to the music, hay rides will be available, courtesy of Lee and Jennifer Roser. Tickets are $25 for adults, $12.50 for kids under 12. They are available at Cobwebs, as well as Diane Corsaro Insurance, or the Bishop VFW Post 8988 on Short Street. Now the festival's website is www.musicfest.org. That stands for Wounded Warrior Musicfest.org. You can get your barbecue tickets there. This summer's Eastern Sierra Music Festival features great country legends, Dwight Yoakam, as well as Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin Brothers, plus rising stars Brooke Eden and Old Southern Moonshine Revival. And tickets for the festival also on sale now and available at that festival website, www.musicfest.org. Eastern Sierra Music Festival will be benefiting the National Wounded Warrior Center set to be built in Mammoth Lakes by Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra. And the Mammoth Lakes Event and Wedding Expo will be occurring April 16th, 2 to 5 p.m. at the Weston Montaché Resort in Mammoth Lakes. Now, this is presented by the Mammoth Lakes Chamber of Commerce and the Weston Montaché Resort, as well as Green Fox Events and Guest Services. Support from Mono County Tourism, Film Commission, and the Expo will provide a centralized event where potential clients and local business owners can network and perform both business to business and business to customer activities. Now the emphasis press release notes will be showcasing all meeting, meeting and event related services available in Mammoth Lakes and the surrounding areas. Press release also notes that the expo is a must do if you are interested in learning about Mammoth Lakes as a destination for groups that are looking for unique customized experiences. The event will consist of more than 30 vendor booths. All guests will be able to interact with the exhibitors and book their services on the spot if they desire. Now, a press release says that this is a remarkable opportunity for our beautiful and diverse destination to familiarize potential visitors, meeting and event planners, wedding couples, and the media with all that Mammoth Lakes has to offer in terms of attractions, activities, venues, and services. Now, this was from Jeff Gilroy, the Director of Sales and Marketing for the Western Montaché Resort, who added it is also an opportunity for our community to come together to learn about all that is new in our town to better sell and promote our destination to visitors and clients. Expo will be followed by a happy hour mixer at the Westin from 5 until 6.30 p.m. The event is free for guests to attend. Vendors who are members of the Mammoth Lakes Chamber of Commerce will be given a booth for free. Non-chamber members will be charged $75. Partners and participants will have the 
opportunity to invite their potential clients to the expo. You would like to learn more about this great event. Lots of weddings in Mammoth Lakes from folks from out of town. Urge you to go to the website mammothlakesexpo.com. And the celebration of Inyo County's 150th birthday continues. I'm going to have the start of a speaker series sponsored by the Friends of the Eastern California Museum. Now, the Friends plan to put out uh, on a history presentation at least twice a month throughout Inyo County for the remainder of the year to help mark the important milestone of Inyo's sesquicentennial. The talks will be given by local historians and provide an informative and entertaining look into the rich history of Inyo County. Now coming up on Friday, April 15th, Friends of the Eastern California Museum will kick off their speaker series with a program at the Western Film History Museum in Lone Pine titled Into the Jaws of Hell. Independent re Independence resident and Death Valley historian David Woodruff will talk about the incredible and true story of both bravery and tragedy and how the Argonauts and their families headed to the California gold fields nearly met their mortal fate in the desolate desert area of eastern Inyo and imparted the morbid epithet Death Valley upon it. The 50 minute program will be at the Western uh, Film History Museum in Lone Pine. And again, that's Friday, April 15th. And for those wanting to know more about Death Valley and its deep history, on Saturday, April 16th, David Woodruff will be making another presentation combined with a book signing at the Inyo Free Library in Lone Pine. Woodruff will talk about the history of tourism in Death Valley and how a company involved in a mining laundry soap additive got involved in the hotel and hospitality business in what appeared to be one of the most unlikely spots imaginable. Lone Pine Library program, Saturday, April 16th from 1 to 3 p.m. And looking ahead the following weekend, Friday, April 22nd, Bishop resident, author, local historian, and member of one of Inyo's most distinguished Pioneer families, Rob Pierce, will be offering a history presentation at the Bishop City Council Chambers, 7 p.m. And more information on Rob's program will be coming soon. Hey, that press release notes that it's not every day that a county has the opportunity to mark a milestone as important as its 150th birthday. The Inyo County Sesquicentennial Committee was created to encourage individuals, organizations, and businesses to host events throughout the year to highlight the many historical and important aspects of Inyo County's 150 years. Friends of the Eastern California Museum Speaker Series is just one of what is hoped will be several different events in 2016 honoring the history of Inyo County. Hey, if you would like to get some more information on these upcoming programs or how you can help Inyo County celebrate its 150th anniversary with your own event, you can call 760-920-8061. We'll be back with a weather report.